you. Exited the limousine with $250, which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine. As president, After which I had the driver take me to my hotel in the Purpose Suites here in Illinois. Now call for approval of H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. Uh, said bill requests an emergency response funding up to and including, uh, I'm sorry, this section is classified, uh, dollars to prepare for a national level terrorist attack and or attack from classified. Funding for first responder personnel and vehicles would be doubled if that attack leads to more than 80 percent of national population being affected by classified. This funding shall commence in conjunction with the first attack on um, classified or the first large-scale outbreak of classified dependent upon which comes first. Civilian and military units shall be trained in containment and combat of classified including irradiated classified with the possibility of classified airborne, classified flesh eating, classified and or all of the above in such event as classified skewing, classified escape are released or otherwise become uncontrollable. Air Force units may also be directed to combat said classified due to their enormous size and otherworldly strength. Should the event occur in urban areas? Jesus. Jesus. I mean, it's classified. Uh, that's classified. Far surpassing our darkest nightmares. Should casualties uh, exceed and by body disposal actions, shall be halted and associated resources shall be reallocated to classified underground, classified protected birthing centers. A uh, new bill of rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. Having now reviewed the bill, I ask you to please cast your vote. Channel 5 News. We believe probable cause exists. Public information. Indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed. Our file says his team of volunteer investigators believes President Obama's birth certificate is computer generated. They say they have a person of interest that may be involved in that hoax. So what is next? CBS 5's Heather Moore has been trying to get the answer to that question all night. Heather, what did you come up with? Well, Catherine and Tina, the sheriff says maybe Congress needs to take this on next. It all started off again when the Tea Party of Surprise asked to Sheriff Joe Arpaio to investigate. He, in turn, asked his volunteer cold case uh, posse to dig in. Now, we spoke with the head of that team this afternoon who refused to talk to us about that so-called person of interest. However, he did say this may be the biggest scandal perpetrated on the American people. Um, big, one of the biggest scandals that are perpetrated on the American people. Oh, my God. Nobody wanted this. You know, nobody wanted to think this is happening, you know, in their country. Lead investigator Michael Zulo claims the group didn't set out to take down the president. Our goal in the beginning was to prove this document authentic. The problem is the evidence that's taking us somewhere else. He says it took six months and 2,200 hours to come to the conclusion that President Obama's birth certificate from Hawaii released by the White House last April was manufactured. They never lost a paper document. It was literally created in the mind of a computer and resides on cyberspace. The White House responded today by pointing to the president's comments last year regarding the same issue. We're not going to be able to solve our problems if we get distracted by sideshows and carnival barkers. This is your face, your reputation, your name in the front of this investigation. How comfortable are you making these allegations? I'm very comfortable because we did seek, uh, seek the advice of experts regarding this. You can build the document. We can take the document apart out of the same file released by the White House. You can't do that if you just scan in a birth certificate. 
or any other document. What do you say to the naysayers? And there are a lot of critics out there saying this is all, you know, a bunch of BS. Prove it. We did. We proved our point. That document is created. And from here, Sheriff Arpaio may look for a congressional investigation. We reached out to every member of Arizona's congressional delegation in Washington today. Only Representative Jeff Flake's office got back to us saying that he believes that President Barack Obama is a U.S. citizen and was born here in the United States. Reporting live to Phoenix, I'm Heather Moore, CBS 5 News. Heather, thank you. So, how did they reach that conclusion? Here's more now from Investigator Zulu at today's press conference. Mr. Obama's birth certificate, there are approximately eight or nine links and layers. Links and layers are indicative of a document being built. The birth certificate was compared to a controlled document that investigators scanned into a computer. After close examination, Zulu said that there were several inconsistencies between the two. One had to do with the so-called green safety paper. Investigators say it should be seen on the onset of the birth certificate, but they determined it was the last element applied to the, to the document. Zulu also claims the register and date stamps can be moved around. He says if the document was authentic, he wouldn't be able to do that. Whoever created this document imported that register stamp and that date stamp laid it on a white background and then filled in the green safety paper around it. Zulu tells us Obama's birth certificate failed. Every test it put it through, all six videos explaining the step of the investigation were uploaded to YouTube by the user Tea Party Power Hour. CBS Live viewers are speaking their minds on this one. Penny wrote, what the heck is going on with this state? We have a disrespectful governor and a sheriff that is going rogue. Has everyone in power in Arizona lost their ever-loving minds? For Pete's sake, we have a lot bigger problems than this. Margie says the birth certificate should be, have been presented before Obama ever ran for president. Why was it? He is undermining our country in a multitude of ways that the media refuses to expose. I wish I could trust our president, just can't. Susan chimed in, it's costing us nothing to investigate Obama. I think he's a fraud. Did it occur to anyone that Obama is pushing amnesty so hard? because he's illegal. I say more power to Sheriff Arpaio. Well, this story is just beginning to unfold. Stay with CBS 5 News for the most in-depth coverage on Arpaio's investigation into the president. And don't forget to check out our website, cbs5az.com. <laughs> so, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a cigar. Yeah. It's about all he's got. A cigar. Those are all proven facts from Channel 5 News, CNN, ESPN, all over. I do my history. Why don't you do yours? See, I don't do political rooms. I leave up, up to my brother, Warlord 2. Because he's, he's hating it as much as I do. But I, I get heart fibrillation and get so excited. I go in his room and there's nothing but trolls. Just like mine was yesterday. Troll, 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 troll. And it's bogus. You know? So, hey, do me a favor. I have a treat for you. <laughs>
Now, these are proven documents. So I have a cigar on Obama. He needed to be impeached his first term. You heard it. Those are CNN, Channel 5 News, ESPN. It's disgusting. You're sitting there taking it. That's like, I let my brother at Warlord too do the political shows. And uh, I check every profile in it. 99.9% .9 of them are trolls. Every one of them, just as my mother as I said earlier. Look, people, if you don't unite, this country is going to be a third world country in less, in less than two years, if that long. And I dedicate this to my freedom fighter. It's Chainsaw. I'm glad you watched that. A few people watched it. You see, you know, everybody thinks that I'm a, something else. You know, so um, God bless you all. Better get this over with. Put him in jail for life. For life. And if a civilian army comes knocking on my door, be careful, you son of a bitches. I'll tell you what. I'm locked and loaded. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I thought you needed to hear that one more time. This is KCNCLiveRadio.com. That's www.cincitywireradio.com. My.com. Take that crap down, hillbilly. Thank you very much. You got a week. And then it's going to be a $10 million lawsuit. You changed everything. You don't talk to me. Forget it. You know you are.